Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. If you like conspiracy theories, you like what's going on in the government, you like to learn about secret societies, you like to learn about Jehovah Witnesses, this is the perfect channel for you. Please subscribe and make a comment. Welcome to the Bill Benson Show. To report the amount of time they spend in the ministry. Nor will publishers be asked to report their placements, the videos they show, or their return visits. Instead, the field service report will simply have a box. So I know this is the big thing that we're all asking is why on earth are they doing this? And most people are saying, well, they don't want people to know about the numbers. <clears throat> and they could be right. But I don't think that's the reason. And this is the reason I don't think that. The organization has kept these records of who's at home, when they're not at home, who they've knocked on the door, if they work at nights, if they have children, if they're married. So much data is just kept on the general public, right, with this door-to-door -door service. They've been doing it for 150 years. Witnesses do not change policies unless there is financial gain. I will say that again. Witnesses do not change policies unless there is financial gain. Okay? So with that being said, what kind of financial gain could they have with possibly doing this? Well, I'll tell you right now. The Australia Royal Commission and the Pennsylvania Grand Jury police are realizing there is a connection between abuse and the organization think about pennsylvania they found four perpetrators in the pennsylvania kingdom hall that investigation went from one kingdom hall to another to another to another it hit four kingdom halls in all and they found 15 pedophiles in those kingdom halls. Now you think about that. And those are elders. Of those 15 people. Which is now to 14. What they were doing was so horrendous. One of them shot himself. The second the police came. And he knew what the police were there for. And he killed himself. That is how serious. And how disgusting these people are. This is what they were doing. Now think about this for a second. The police know that they know there's a correlation between the two. What if they realize that they were taking those records of when you're going door to door, who's home, when you're home, when you're not home, and they use those records to their benefit for their nasty behavior? The organization will be held accountable for this, folks. That's the real reason. If the public finds out that pedophiles were using the door-to-door -door records to find children that are home alone, you damn well believe the organization will be sued to oblivion for this. And you know the PR behind this will be horrific. That is the reason, folks, that they are removing the time cards. They don't want to have the accountability of having to be responsible for all the pedophiles in the organization. To this day, the, the count is 80,000 sex offenders based off of their own database. We have one-third of the database in the court systems. Based on that information, if the rest of the database is the same, they have 80 thousand people that they are responsible for who they have hid who are sex offenders can you imagine the lawsuits that are going to come from this when the public finds out it will be horrific so think about that think about selena think about pennsylvania think about anthony morris more things have happened in the organization over the last year than we have seen in the last 50. Things that you would never have thought. A governing body member being removed. No explanation. 
the organization taking policies has been running for 150 years. Police arresting Jehovah Witnesses on a massive scale for sex offending, for raping children, 15 in one state. How crazy is this? I have told you once and I will tell you again, the organization cares nothing for you. You're nothing but statistics and money. And if you're not making money, you're trash to them. They will discard you like the Bethelites that served them for 60 years. As soon as you're not profitable anymore, they'll kick you out to the street, leave you homeless, and it'll be up to the brothers and sisters to pay your way for you. The society will do nothing for you. You'll be left on the streets like homeless trash. The society cares nothing for you unless you can make money. Everything they do is for money. It has been that way, it will be that way, and it will never change. They are a cult and they care nothing about anything but your pocketbook. <laughs>